Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, we're here with some character quests that I am woefully behind on. Uh, today we'll be doing Belmina's first quest. You remind me of someone. You meet a girl in Rind. For some reason, Belmina seems to be concerned about her. Is it because of this big bully dude here? This is pitiful. What do you think you're doing? This seems a little harsh. You were on half rations for the week. Can't be handing out free meals to an incompetent like you. You have one shot of redemption. Don't blow it. Oof. Right into Aldo. Ah, whoops. Are you alright? Oh, I wasn't looking where I was going. Sorry. Do be careful. You wouldn't want to fall over your, and muddy your clothes. You were being yelled at just now, huh? Don't let that get you down. I can't even do my job. How am I supposed to? <laughs> job? What job is this? But, but... I've got to get better at it. I've got to work harder. I'm going now. Wait, you dropped something. When you collided with my friend, your hair clip fell out. Uh-oh, did it? Thank you. Let me fix it for you. Turn around a moment. Let your hair get messy at your peril, young lady. There, all nice again. Yep, everyone knows that by now. Everybody knows what not to get your hair messy? Aldo, this is yours. Huh? My wallet? When did you take it? Just now. But n not from you, though. From that girl. She's quite skillful about taking it, so I don't blame you for not noticing. Oh. Yeah, I didn't notice at all. Thanks for that, Felmina. I guess we know what her job is now. It's terrible that children are doing that kind of thing, though. To be so skillful at her age is unusual. It might be that she's more than a mere thief. What do you mean? I don't know. She reminds me of someone. In any case, it's a miserable way of life. A life of thievery and deception. I'd like to do something for her, if we can. Let's go and catch up to her. Quest accepted. Alright, let's do this. Where are we going here? We're going down this way. Boop. That's her there. Huh? They're after me. Hey, you don't need to run. Ooh, Felmina. Sneaky, sneaky. Nice one, Felmina. I don't see how you could have gotten here so fast, though. I'm sorry for what I did. Please don't get angry at me. I'll give it back. What's this you'll give back? I don't believe you have anything of ours. Mm-hmm. Huh? I don't... Where is it? We're not the town guard. We just want to know why you're doing this. Huh? Huh? There's got to be a better way of life for you. Don't you think stealing is a mean thing to do? But, but, my mommy and daddy are gone. Hmm. How else am I supposed to live? I've got to do what I'm told or I get in trouble and I won't get any food. I don't want to do mean things, but I don't have a choice. You don't think you have a choice, you know? I knew a girl who went through what you're going through right now. Huh? She did some bad things. Worse than thievery. All just to make it through to the next day. <sighs> this kind of thing makes me so sad. Felmina, this isn't right. Shouldn't we do something? 
It doesn't bode well for the future of our kingdom if we have young children growing up in circumstances like these. Have things always been like this since you lost your parents? It's been like this for as long as I can remember. This is awful. How could this have been allowed to go on? If no one else is willing to take responsibility, it'll have to be us. Please take us to that man from earlier. We'd like to talk to him. But then... We're going to help you out of this. Trust us. Got it. Follow me. Come on, Aldo. Come on, Aldo. Get with it. Speak to the vulgar man. Ooh, shiny. Hang on, vulgar man. There are shiny things happening. Have you got some business with me? We know what you're doing. You must stop. Oh, you little idiot. What do you think you're doing dragging these clowns into my affairs? <gasps> it's a simple request. I won't allow you to keep this girl in slavery any longer. Ha 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 Oh dearie dearie me. I'll have you know that this girl is very useful to my business. Sorry to rain on your parade, but she ain't going nowhere. You monster. Aldo, no violence. We have to resolve this as amicably as possible. We can't just let him get away with this. Let me handle this, please. Okay, so suppose we offer you something in exchange for her freedom. You want to trade for her? Well, if you can give me something of equal value. Yeah, sure. Why not? You know the medicine Heaven's Iris? I know it, yes. If you can give me that, we have a deal. It ought to make me enough in market to compensate for the loss of the brat. Fine. We'll bring it to you here. What a pair of chumps you are. Poking your noses into my affairs. What use is the girl to you anyway? You'll be coming out of this short change, you know. Oh well. I'll just thank my lucky stars that chumps like you exist. I can't believe we're doing a deal with a scoundrel like that. Calm down. We have a perfectly acceptable agreement. If we actually get this medicine, then sure. Should be doable. We can find the ingredient we need in the Nuaru uplands. Let's get going right now. I don't want to leave her around a scoundrel like that any longer than necessary. To Nuaru. We'll be back soon. Wait for us. Uh, right. So where in Nuaru are we going? Are we just... Wait, is this Nuaru? This is Serena. What am I doing? Map. Where's Nuaru? Where am I right now? Oh, okay, let's go to Baruki. So freaking turned around. Alright. Over here. Oh, right by the fishing hole. Oh, fishing hole. I think that's Dunarit's quest up there. So, Heaven's Iris is that herbal medicine? Actually, we've come here to obtain the nails of a bird that dwells in this region. It's called the Rainbow Rock. There's a high concentration of prisma around here, so we can expect that their nails will be of good quality. Okay. You really seem to know your stuff. I've picked up a few useful things here and there throughout my life. What now? 
Look, there it is. It just like rolled right up to me. Okay, not gonna try to make too much of a mess with this. Yes, please try not to kill it. Oh, we gonna just beat the crap out of it. Alright, swap you out because you're just not quite as useful to me as I wish you were. Oh yeah, right, this is a level 10 quest. <laughs> Alright. I was ready to go bananas on this bird. Yog. Got him. So how do we make the medicine exactly? You can leave it to me. I memorized the recipe many years ago. You have to boil them just right, then they'll produce a liquid that, when ingested, briefly grants the drinker exceptional vision. Closer to that of a hawk than an ordinary human. Very useful to, when you have some long-range shooting to do. Long-range shooting? Sorry. When would you have ever had to do long-range shooting? When I said I learned the recipe many years ago. I meant many, many years ago. When I was still a child. What did you need it for? Aldo, get your foot out of your mouth. For an assassination. I was a member of an assassin's guild. What? When you were a child? Like that girl, I didn't have any parents either. The guild provided me with food, shelter, the thorough education on everything pertaining to assassination. That included medicine. That can't have been a wholesome childhood. Indeed. If I slacked off and failed a job, I'd be thrown out. That would mean starving to death. I had to focus completely. I didn't have the time or energy to be thinking about whether what I was doing was right or wrong. How did you get out in the end? I eventually felt instinctually that I couldn't continue living as I had been. Part of it was fear. Even those who were supposed to be my allies were deceiving and betraying each other incessantly. It got to me in the end, so I fled as far as my legs would carry me. That's how I ended up in Miglans. Hmm. So you told the girl earlier that you knew someone who went through what she's going through. You were talking about yourself. Is that why you want to help her? Because she reminds you of you? I'd like to think I would have done something anyway. But maybe it is, as you say. My hope for her is that she'll meet someone like I did. Someone inspirational who changes her life completely. Someone who makes her realize truly how vain the life she's lived until now has been. One who offers her hope for the future. That's what she needs more than anything. Hope. Well, hope, eh, <laughs> hopefully, this will be the start of a new life for her. I'm sure she'll be inspired by what you've done for her. I'm afraid I can't be the one to save her from the darkness. I don't have it in me. However, we do have the ingredients. So let's hurry up and deliver them. Wait, we haven't made the medicine yet? We don't need to. Don't worry. I have this planned out. You've got something up your sleeve? Well, alright. Let's head back to Rind. Defeated my first rainbow rock. Huh? This is this the ingredient for the medicine? That's right. The nail is large enough to produce a substantial quantity. Nope, this ain't what I asked for. It's obvious that we don't trust each other. By providing you with the ingredients, I'm in effect giving you a down payment. Yeah, but as it is, this ain't valuable enough for me to just hand over the brat. The ingredient itself is quite valuable. You can take it now without releasing her and make a reasonable profit. Or I can teach you the recipe for making the medicine and you can make a great deal more. 
I'll be happy to do that as soon as you release her. You've got a decent brain on you, ain't you? Alright, on your way then, kid. You just peace right out. Now tell me the recipe. The first step is to finally slice the nails up. I'll show you. It's done. You can test the effects for yourself. Yeah, let's have a try. My eyes. Blimey, everything's so sharp. This Heaven's Irish stuff is miraculous. I'm gonna be raking it in thanks to this. And you have nothing more to do with her, is that clear? Meh, I thought having a lackey would make my life easy, but the brat's been nothing but trouble. Compared to this medicine, she's almost completely worthless. Take her if you want her that much. Good. One other thing. Yeah, go on. It seems you weren't aware, but I'm actually a bounty hunter. Actually a bounty hunter, apparently. Probably. And I have just learned that there's a price on your head. Uh, what now? It shouldn't surprise you. Enforcing child slavery is villainy of the lowest sort. You have no right to complain. Any last words? Last words. Get out of here. I'm not having this. There he goes. For good, I hope. I needed to do that to ensure her safety. Is giving a medicine used for assassinations to a criminal really such a good idea? There's no problem at all, seeing as the nails I gave him were fake. Really? How come he said his vision got sharper? Unfortunately for him, and fortunately for us, he seemed to know very little about Heaven's Iris. He probably just overheard somewhere that he could sell it for a lot of money. If he knew what he was looking for, he would have been able to see that what I gave him was an ordinary medicine for tired eyes. For such a scoundrel, he really was quite gullible. Making concessions to him probably softened him up. He wasn't being as critical as he might have been otherwise. Are you really a bounty hunter, miss? No, that's not true. She just said that to scare him off. He believed me because I proved myself to be trustworthy with everything else I did. I guess he must have believed that you were going to take him down right then and there. You weren't though, right? Yeah, she might have. If I had done, it wouldn't have been unjustified. <laughs> More importantly, we need to seriously consider what we're going to do with this young lady here. To be honest, I don't think we can take her around with us. She's not going to work out on our time-traveling escapades. With skillful hands like yours, I know somewhere where you'll be useful for the meantime. Eventually, though, wouldn't you like to decide for yourself what you'd like to do? You aren't going to take her on as your apprentice? I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I'm going to look out for her, of course. But I think it's better if she decides for herself what she'd like to do. That sounds reasonable. So, what am I going to do now? I know someone who will be able to look after you. I'll come and visit you as much as I can, and you can help me out with some of my work. But you must be well behaved, promise. Will I be able to get food? You will, yes. Three filling and nutritious meals a day. And no one will get angry at me? Only when you misbehave. You'll be treated well, I promise. Sounds good. Okay, good. Um, miss, you said you knew a girl like me, right? What happened to her? Things worked out well for her. One day a very special person came into her life and changed it forever. She told me she's very happy right now because she's able to help the person she likes most of all. Who is that? Is it Aldo? It's probably not Aldo. Uh oh. I'm going to assume that you're just ill-informed. These are regular eye drops. Anyone can see that. Then that means 
I've been had. She'll pay for this. With the kid now in her care, the guild is a very well-placed spy. They'll no doubt show their appreciation by giving me a nice fat bonus. Guess I'll go report to that contact of mine. Oh, hello, Hooded. Oh! Gah! Uh, sorry, but I'd say you've outlived your usefulness now. Good job, though. Yo, he just got shanked. Quest complete. Some chrono stones, some low class scrolls. And that's it. All right. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, feel free to check me over. Oh, check me out over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash corndog913. Otherwise, I'll be back in a couple days with the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care.